Welcome to Mariners Baseball. Today we have your Seattle Mariners facing the Houston Astros on opening day of the new 2017 campaign here in Houston, Texas. Here at Minute Maid Park, we will be playing the first Mariners game this, so far this year. As the Mariners are looking to bounce back off of a great year last year, although they did not make the postseason like the, Houston, like the Astros as well, they had a very big improvement winning 86 games and losing only 75. Now for the Astros, they won 84 games and losing 78. But on the mound today are two aces and two Cy Young winners, Felix Hernandez for your Mariners and Dallas Keuchel for the Astros. As we are just about ready to start up the game, as Keuchel is just warming up with his final pitches, and here is Gene Segura's first at bat as a Mariner after the Tajon Walker trade this offseason. Now the first pitch to Segura will be grounded on to second to Altuve, who throws on to Yulieski Gurriel for the out as the first pitch of the year is a ground out for the Mariners. Now, batting second will be the speedy new acquisition, Jared Dyson, who is known for being one of the fastest players in the MLB alongside D. Gordon, Billy Hamilton, and others, as he will rip the first pitch foul. Count stays 0-1 as Keiko pitches, and it's ripped to left field going back and he will miss the ball as Jared Dyson will stay on first after the missed dive by Nori Aoki out in left field as that will bring up the best player on the Mariners Robinson Cano who had a very very good year last year bouncing back from a not so great campaign in 2015 as he's looking to repeat his year. And he rips it to left field. Aoki will catch it this time at the warning track. And that'll send Dyson back to first. So that, now there are two outs for the slugger Nelson Cruz, who had also another great year in only his age 35 year uh, coming into this season. Last year he was outstanding with 43 homers and a 287 average as the first pitch is thrown and Jared Dyson steals and it goes by Altuve as Dyson will head to third with ease as he's got the wheels so he will definitely be able to go to third as that will probably be costly if the Mariners can cash in a run as Evan Gaddis not one of the best stealer throwers behind the plate as Nelson Cruz will swing through a change up and that'll be the end of the inning so no damage is done although there was an error as there's one hit with no one left on, with one left on base and we will head to the bottom of the first. The Astros are coming up to bat as they hope to bounce back from a downfall from last year as leading off is a left fielder Nori Aoki as the first pitch from Felix Hernandez is a low sweeping curve as the 1-0 pitch to Aoki will be grounded onto short. Gene Segura throws on first, and it is barely in time as Valencia scoops the ball, and there's one down. And that'll bring up the center fielder, George Springer, as Springer has been very great for these past few years as the first pitch is a sweeping curve in the strike zone. As we'll take a look at that pitch once again, as that has just incredible break. Felix Hernandez known for his sweeping curves, as no one really else in the MLB has a better sweeping curve as he gets George Springer to strike out looking, as that is two outs for the Mariners. And that'll bring up one of the best players last year, Jose Altuve, as Altuve will swing through the sweeping curve, as he was the runner-up for AL MVP behind Mike Trout as it will be a grounder to Cano, who throws on to first, in time to get the speedy Altuve, and it was 1-2-3 for the Astros. Now to the top of the second here with the right fielder Mitch Hanniger, as the first pitch is fouled off, as there are two outs, and Mitch Hanniger drives this one a deep left. Is it fair? Yes, it is very fair and very gone. 
as Mitch Haniger gets his first homer of the year as he hopes to have a great season as he's shown in spring training that he has the great potential or has a great potential and ha- can be a great player as he gets his first homer of the season as it is now one nothing Seattle. So that will bring up the catcher, Carlos Ruiz, who swings through the slider as entering his age 38 season as played with many teams. Most like most people know him as a Philly, but played for the Dodgers last year for a little stint. Now on the Mariners as he swings through and breaking ball for strike three. And that will be the inning. But Mitch Haniger will cash in for the Astros. Welcome back to Mariners baseball as the bottom of the fourth with two outs already is Evan Gaddis who comes up to the plate as it is 0-1. Hernandez kicks and deals. And that is driven to left field, and that is crushed for a home run. Evan Gaddis, with his first homer of the season, will tie this game as the train goes off like it always does for home runs for the Astros, as it is now tied at one. So that will bring up the DH, Carlos Beltran. As the pitch to him will be chop foul. Count now 1-2 as he kicks and deals. And it is grounded onto first. Valencia will field it, run to first, and make the play for the final out of the inning. But not in time for the Evan Gattis home run, which ties the game. Now, the first baseman, Yulieski Guriel, who is entering his first full major league season as the throw to first will be off. Line is Carlos Correa. Got a single earlier. So now Guriel takes the pitch. As it is 0-1 now for Yulieski Guriel, the Cuban-born player, will chop this one, and Ruiz will field it, turn throw to first, and it is barely in time, but Correa moves to second with, I believe, two outs? Yes, two outs. As the pitch from Hernandez will be ripped into the gap. That is an extra ba- that'll be extra bases, as Correa will easily get in the home, and Bregman will be staying at second as the Albuquerque native will get his first hit of the season as they'll bring up the left fielder Nori Aoki. As the pitch will back him off, as that is way inside. As the count is 0 or 1 0. And Aoki will ground it to Kyle Seeger, who throws on to first in time, and that'll end the inning. But the Astros tack on one as the Astros now have a 2-1 to one lead after Alex Bregman's double. Here in Houston, Houston, Texas, we have a great night as it is 2-1 to one on opening day as the closer for the Astros, Ken Giles, comes in to face the meat of their order with Cruz, who will be leading off as the first pitch from Giles is outside as Ken Giles is looking to have another great year as he gets Nelson Cruz to swing or chase at the slider for the first out. So I'll bring up Kyle Seeger who hopes to have another great year and that is ripped past Guriel and past the second baseman Altuve as the shift just barely didn't work out. Is that'll bring up Danny Valencia with one out and one on as Giles will kick and deal, and it is outside for ball one, way outside, barely caught by Gaddis as count stays at 1-0, seven pitches for Ken Giles so far, as the pitch will be popped up to right field, and it is caught by Marlon Gonzalez as he will throw on to second base, is there a are two outs now for Mitch Haniger, who did hit the home run in the second inning. So he is he can he can get the job done, but he's not the best player for this situation as he swings through the slider. As he will ground this one onto first to Guriel, who makes the play, and that is your ball game as the Houston Astros defeat your Seattle Mariners by a score of two to one on opening day. As the Astros start out the season with a win, with a 1-0 record, and the Mariners fall to the Astros to start the year at an 0-1 record. As that'll be your game 
Dallas Keuchel gets his first win of the season as King Felix or Felix Hernandez gets his first loss of the season as your top hitters were Mitch Hanniger, who hit the home run, Evan Gaddis, who also hit a home run, and Alex Bregman, who drove in the second run for the Astros in the fifth. As the save goes to Ken Giles, as hope you guys enjoyed this broadcast of Mariners Baseball, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.